Hey, I'm Chocolate Cake. Welcome back to more oh shit. Kaizo Mario World 3. Um I'm not gonna be doing too much commentary, other than that says welcome, something about tourism and death. I don't know. Um This is actually my second time attempting to play this, and I say attempting because I was not able to finish today since my controller started shitting itself. So, what I'm going to do is just have some music going and I'll do spotty commentary where I think I need it. So right away, obviously, I knew that um, I knew that the vine was in that block because I've already played this. Uh, last time I played this, I got really frustrated and quit and deleted my recording because it was really pissing me off. Uh, if there's one thing I really hate in video games, platformers really, uh, it's fake timers. And that's what this level is because you have to escort this prana plant vine the entire level. and. It's incredibly frustrating when you mess something up later on in the level because it could be that you mess something up earlier on in the level and you have to then do basically the whole thing again unless you use an abundance of save states or are somehow really good at this. So when you're climbing this uh, vine, you need to be at the top of it as much as you can so that you can get as much of a head start on the next section as possible for things like this where you need to really rush to get that block and kick it up in there. Unfortunately, I'm really bad at that, so it took me quite a long time to get this part. And then if that wasn't exciting enough, you then have to do it again, right after. And this is really where the biggest, um, <laughs> this is really where you need to um, save the most time in staying at the top of the vine, uh, because there's actually three of those purple blocks that you need to throw into the yellow ones you don't really get much of a break in this level, so you can't just stay still ever. You have to basically be constantly moving. And actually that's why I did restart this part of the level, uh, because I was not as far, uh, as close to the top of the vine as I could have been and really needed to be in order to do that uh, triple block successfully. As I said, I'm really bad with the purple blocks, so this takes me a while. <laughs> is all I can really say.
and I'm still not entirely sure the mechanics of these purple blocks. I thought I knew it from when I actually played and 100%ed Super Mario World, but apparently not. I still can't quite figure out how to position myself correctly in order to kick the block instead of just dropping it or where to throw it and of course there's a nice little question block there Baseballs are really freaking hard to avoid over the moving platform that you're forced to walk on. Uh, if you time it right, you can actually jump over two of the baseballs, but that makes it pretty hard to jump over any subsequent ones, because you really need to do it all in one go. And you can see I did figure out a nice little shortcut there where if you're on that red question block, the baseballs can't hit you. So you can use that to get a little bit of an advantage over the stupid chuck to the right. Unfortunately, when you waste as much time as I did here, uh, you really can't get to the vine quickly enough to move on to the next section. I didn't know that, so I kept trying to go. timing on jumping on these pokies is a little tight and you don't have a lot of room to maneuver even once you're on them so you kind of have to be pretty careful and pretty quick about jumping around up to them and then moving on to the piranha plant So I figured out that I wasn't going to make it, and I reset to an earlier save state. Um, and that's actually the point where I gave up the first time I attempted this level. And honestly, that's not really that far into the level either. So I didn't make it very far before I had to quit because I was so annoyed.
this part still proving a huge obstacle to me. I, there are times when... <laughs> God, this part's just so dumb, I hate it. And since you have to do this all in one go, I had a little bit of issues with uh, safe stating. But I eventually got it sorted out, where I went back to an earlier safe state. I'm pretty sure that I wasn't far enough ahead of the vine to actually make a difference compared to my previous attempt anyway. Still not quite sure what makes those purple blocks work. Can't quite get them to act the way I want for some reason. Except there, I just did it perfectly, so I don't know what the deal is. And I'm noticing that, again, the, the baseball chuck doesn't seem to throw in a specific pattern, because there are some times where there's three evenly spaced, and then there's times where it's two, and then a third one a little bit after. So it seems like there's a bit of a random element, unless I'm doing something slightly differently between attempts here.
this baseball section is probably the part that I spent the most on, even more than the purple blocks, for some reason. It was just really hard to get the precise timing of all these jumps right. Finally, able to get a safe state down up here in midair to make this part a little bit easier. Still didn't help a whole lot, but I finally made it. This time, I'm actually a little early for the vine, and I ended up having to uh, slow myself down, oddly enough. Getting the timing right is still pretty tough. I wonder how many times I could say it's pretty tough in reference to Kaizo. got past that pokey part except I screwed it up.
and starting here, my controllers stopped working. The buttons just stopped responding about half the time, and even closing every single other application besides the game and my recording software, I was not able to get my controller to work. So I ended up having to stop right before another little purple block. So, I'll see you guys next time when my controller works again and we'll finish this level.